Welcome back to my Let's Play for Pokemon Sapphire. It does look like a punch at my, um... Pokemon, um, plushies fellow back there, but whatever. I'm just gonna leave him for now. It's too much work to stop and deal with him right now. It's getting late, and I want to get this stuff as done as soon as possible so I can go to bed, because I got work at 5 in the morning. And it's already about 10.30 while I'm starting this recording. And it's probably gonna take about half an hour to get through this episode, because... I already did the ruby run earlier, and yeah, it was pretty long. Oh, gosh darn it. Of course it uses Growl. <sighs> Come on, Sly. Pull out the win anyway. I don't think, it's, think it's, she's gonna make it. And it's... Almost over. Darn it. Need some more levels there. Well, at least it lets Lacey pick up a quick win. Ah, lowering my attack stat again. Well, we'll bring in the real hard hitters afterwards. Yeah, send it out. Okay, I'm gonna go for a bite. Damn. Well, that's not gonna really affect my bite attack since it's still a special attack. Darn it. Guess all this probably wanna have Orin berries. I'm a bit surprised he's even bothering with that. He can already hit me for enough damage to knock me out. There's no point in really lowering my stats other than, you know, just to lower them. To prove you can. <sighs> if it wasn't for that orange berry, I could have gotten the win. Well, get him, rain delay. I guess now we'll switch over to serious butt kicking mode and try to finish the rest of these matches as quickly as possible, because there's a lot of matches to get through. <sighs> a real ton of them. Eh, whatever. I don't understand why they constantly have to brag about how strong I am or whatnot, considering they're not very powerful themselves. This is pretty low tier battling still. And honestly, we've seen me suck at it quite a bit. Yeah, I'm not gonna waste time. Sure, I could just use Ember, but it can take a flamethrower anyway. It's a plan and it was asking for it. Um, maybe? Ah, uh, nah. Nah. Nah, I changed my mind. Yes, yeah, so we'll get rid of Ember. Bit of an odd choice, I suppose, but we have Flamethrower, so I don't really need the much weaker Flame Attack, to be honest. Nine more. Well, that was just killing a bunch of time for this episode, too. Darn it. Okay. Here comes the daughter. I really don't believe you. So <sighs> it brings up how powerful they are. They're usually very disappointing for me. Yep. Disappointing. Though you might do better than some. <sighs> if Phoenix was evolved, this would be already over. I'd have enough power to just drop it in one hit. But by keeping Phoenix a torch chick, I've put myself at a disadvantage. On purpose, I suppose, but still, a disadvantage. And that leaves a fire Pokemon, I believe. Yep. No. Everyone around here has to have one of these camel things. Seriously. You see so many camels when you do this, it's a bit ridiculous. 
I would try lighting it on fire, but I don't think that'd be very effective. <sighs> One more peck off, finish it off. Okay, that just leaves Grandma. Yes, you lost. Get over it. And here comes the Granny to beat us. Man, she should get over it. Seriously. Shout out to all the Pokemon battles, but you're going to lose. <sighs> it's really little work. She can't stay on top forever. Ah, uh, I got detected. Well, you can't block me out for forever. Tch, fool. Almost took himself out there. Really, I wasn't using flamethrower. I'd be really mad. Well, the more it uses that, the more likely it's to fail. You can only protect yourself so many times, and it just, boom, doesn't work. Makes sense, I suppose. You can just keep spamming protect over and over and over, and you can completely exhaust certain moves. Which I guess people would argue would be the best reason you'd use that move at all, you know. They turn to burn out like their best usages on, say, Thunder or Outrage or something like that. <sighs> Thanks, I guess. Yeah, I still want to go to bed right now. Turn this bike so fast, it's hard to control my movements. Hmm. Suppose you did. Can't say I'm looking forward to this, though. But, let's do it. Okay. Fusion. Well, that wasn't particularly effective. Well, what's it gonna do to us? Well, I got pounded on. Not too unusual. <sighs> Must stay awake. Must finish battles. Though I may cut out some trainers, to be honest. Yeah, yeah, they do. They'll probably pop again. They always do. Egg. Hmm. Yeah. Perfect clincher, because it makes absolutely no sense. I'm sure if you give them certain phrases, it has some better impact or something for you. And yeah, I did a lot more trainer battles than Ruby, but I'm just going to start skipping people to save on time. I'm not that worried about the trainer battles at this point, because like I said, it's, it's late at night. I want to go into bed as soon as possible, so skipping over as many trainers as possible makes perfect sense to me. Plus, I might want to come back once I've gotten a few levels on Lacey to try and get more levels off some trainer Pokemon. Some argue that's a bit cheap, but I don't see it that way. It's not like I couldn't defeat these trainers as is, I just have to put almost all the battles on Phoenix. Or, you know, Joan to Ark. And I'd rather not do that if I don't have to. Because I always use that experience for Lacey. Or. Sly, I can get her back up and run here soon. <sighs> Gosh darn it. This is gonna suck. I don't really have anything to counter his Geodudes right now, besides sending out a um, Mamba, I suppose, but I want to start the fight by switching. That's just asking for trouble. I 
No, it wouldn't be. But that's not the point. It doesn't have to be very effective. It can still break through his, um... Special defense. Let's get Rain Delay out there. And then use Absorb. We suck up enough of their health, it'll just drop them. And, paying what they are, it's not hard to take them down with Absorb. And at least Ranger Lay is closer to them in terms of levels. Still higher, but not as much as a gap between these G dudes and Phoenix. Okay. Come on, send it out already. The faster I get this done with, the faster I can get to bed. Come on, fall over. Okay. Good excuse, good excuse. No one's gonna call you on that live. Like, ever. Okay, what well, caught me? Oh, a Torkoal. Hmm. You can probably take it. Called it. Well. Get in the ball, Torkoal. You ain't getting away, because you're caught. You might be coal, but we're adding you to my Pokedex. Okay. We'll just call you Raph for short. Will Raph ever see the light of day? Probably. I'm pretty partial to Torkoal, because it's a turtle. I don't really need a second one, though. I mean, once you have one Torkoal, you really don't need more unless you want to get the perfect Torkoal with all the perfect stats. And I'm not really willing to work towards that. It's too much work for too little payoff. Of course he spotted me. I've toughened them up quite a bit, thank you. You best not take me lightly. Well, now, because I don't want to touch this thing, we'll just breathe fire on it. That way I can avoid hitting, getting hit with static, because you just know it go off if I touched it. Um. Alright, we should send out the plant Pokemon with the hat. Calm mind. Okay. Let's go on the offensive now. Oh, another splash? Jeez. Oh, yeah, use up that valuable potion. Honestly, I don't get the, what the point of that was. He's taking so much damage, he's going to get knocked out regardless if he uses the potion or not. <sighs> Send out your fighting Pokemon. So that I may take it down in one blow. Prepare yourself for the knockdown blow. <sighs> yes, yes I did. Now hand over your wallet and get out of my sight. Yeah, he's working on a secret base. Honestly, I don't see the value of having a secret base too much, but... I'm sure someone could point to the benefits of having something for your, you know, your stuff that you don't really want anyway. Ugh. <sighs> I 
Or I will just made that tree their secret base because they're being lazy. And it's so very easy just to pick it because it's like the first thing you come across that it can be a secret base that you you have the secret power move for. <sighs> Well, there's one gall. Well, not horrible. Not great either. Ah, gotta send out the camel, huh? Flamethrower. Not the best special of defense do you have either, huh? Why do these bo trainers both have super potions? Trainers rarely have items like this in my experience. I guess there always has to be an exception to every rule, though. Should just use flamethrower again. Would have knocked it out. Okay, it just leaves Rosalia. I should go down easily, I know. Uh, should have went with flamethrower. Should have, but didn't. Well, the plus side is I can't be poisoned while I'm paralyzed. On the downside, that means I'm going to be going last in battle. Which always sucks if you want to avoid damage. Okay. That's nice. Just hand over your money. Um, yeah. Got that. Let's just switch. Okay. Just avoid the ninja boy. Seriously, I can deal with those coughings easily enough, but do I really want to? Okay. Probably one other thing on this route that's really worth picking up, to be honest, and that's the soot sack. Everything else is sort of just optional. Okay. Of course she turns while I'm walking by. Okay, I guess I gotta take care of the camel, though. <sighs> well. Despite my looks, I'm not part steel here. Ow. Aw, oh, man. And a critical hit. <sighs> Took advantage of my glass jaw. Okay. Absorb. I know it's not going to be very effective, but it doesn't have to be. It's almost dead. And if that didn't work, I would have started switching over to nature power and just hoping for the best. Oh, that's nice. <sighs> and of course, we get into another random encounter. The sand shrew this time. Hmm. I'm so tempted to come back and catch one of those. Aha! I can just sneak on by. It's brilliant. Okay. Well, we made it to the next town. Less time than the other run, but we skipped over like half the trainers in order to do it. Until next time, then. See ya.